But one of the reasons this topic came forward is because I was taking a walk not that long ago, and as I was walking along, I was thinking about some things that happened in my life that were, like, devastating. And I, as I was walking along, I was thinking, oh my goodness, that thing that was devastating, oh my goodness, it's not devastating anymore, and God has turned it into something good. And then I started thinking about, well, then there was that horrible thing that happened, and oh my goodness, fast forward all these years, and oh my goodness, God made something good out of that too. Oh my goodness. And I started like going through all these things that, were, that seemed, that were really horrible and heartbreaking and challenging. And it was like, oh my goodness. I almost didn't notice that God's redeemed all these things. It's like, oh my goodness, this is our God. This is our redeeming God. To uh, summarize here, once again, God is saying to do four things when you're in a challenge or a painful circumstance, when your heart is broken. God is saying to do four things. The first thing is to say to you, decide to trust me. Decide. Decide to trust me. This isn't a feeling. This is not a feeling. This is a decision. Like, I am going to stand on this promise of God. I'm trusting you, God. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not a little sliver of your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. I'm a big proponent, and you don't have to make this fancy, but keep a God sighting journal. Even if it's just a little notepad by your bed or something, where you try to purposely, maybe once a week or once a month, just think that, okay, what did God do in my life? Where did he show up? Where was there a miracle? Where was there an answer to prayer? Where was there that God coincidence that happened? And write it down, because when I go back and reread those entries, Oh, man, it's like, I just know my God's kicking butt in the heavenly realm here. And I was like, can I say that? I just did. And he, and he was like, right? I mean, he's just kicking butt in the heavenly realms. He's just like saying, nothing's too hard for me. And it fills me up to, to just reread those entries. I'm like, that's right. Why am I worrying about this? Look what he did two years ago. Why am I even worrying about that? Okay, second thing you need to do, Jesus is saying, seek to obey me, and I will come to you. John 14, 23. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. I love that. It's kind of delicious, isn't it? That he's going to come and make his home with us. That's pretty close. I like that. So how do you grow stronger in this arena where you're supposed to obey him? Because obedience is kind of tough. Our flesh says, I want to do this. I want to go the way of the world. I want to fit in with the crowd. And God's saying, no, I want, I'm calling you to obedience. Some things that have helped me. Do your own Bible study of God's promises to bless you when you obey Him. That helped me. I kind of like to know, is there going to be a reward? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just like to know, is this going to be worth it? Uh, and so, I mean, look, at, look up some of those Bible verses. Just start skimming through the Bible like, okay, where does He say that He's going to bless me when I obey? And you'll start to find these little nuggets and it's like, hey, uh, this could be worth it for me to obey God. Number three. At, God is saying, ask me to redeem your pain. Ask me to redeem your pain and make something beautiful out of your situation. Just ask me. James 4.2 says, you do not have because you do not ask God. And then this last point, be joyful in hope. Be joyful in hope because Jesus is saying, I love you. I'm all powerful. I'm super creative. So be joyful in hope. Romans 12, 12 says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. 